Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. The Ledger Nano S is one of the best devices for storing your cryptocurrency securely. So the Ledger Nano S is a portable device. It looks much like a USB stick that you can plug into your computer, transfer your crypto, get it off of your laptop, get it off of your desktop so that it is separate. You have your, your keys to it. Uh, everything is stored you have the blockchain, you can access it directly. So uh, the Ledger Nano S itself um, is currently available on the Ledger Wallet website for 58 euros. Uh, just to show you a picture of what this device looks like, uh, it plugs in via USB. Here it is, here's the cable, um, and just plugs in directly to your laptop. Down here in the lower right-hand corner, I am showing a picture of my Ledger Nano S. Um, currently, um, you see Bitcoin um, popping up, and I'm just going to scroll through here. Um, Ethereum is also installed. Um, Bitcoin and Ethereum are the two coins that are supported by default. I also have Dash on here. Um, there are a number of cryptocurrencies that are supported by the Ledger wallet. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, um, all of these, uh, XRP, Ripple, Dash, um, Arc, Vertcoin, NEO, um, and many of these uh, work directly through an app interface that is built in through Chrome. So if you want to access your Bitcoin, for example, you need an app that you can download, download the Ledger Wallet for Bitcoin. Um, and you can download this through the apps link on the Ledger Wallet website. So these are your, as it says, your companions for your Ledger Wallet. So this is how you actually uh, work through your Ledger Wallet to transfer, send and receive coins to the Ledger Wallet. And the, um, the default is for Bitcoin and Ethereum, but you will still need uh, the Bitcoin wallet. So you can just directly download this Ledger wallet for Bitcoin and altcoins. Um, it's very simple. You just download this app. It gets added in to Chrome. I already have this installed, so let's click on it, open it up. Um, and this is pretty easy. Um, all you have to do is connect. You go over to Bitcoin if that's what you want to access. Unlock your Ledger wallet and you can get in. But as this says, this is the Ledger wallet for Bitcoin and altcoins. So I also already have Dash installed. And so if we want to uh, connect and unlock for Dash, I simply use both buttons and this will open up my Dash wallet. Currently there are no coins in here. It'll do a quick sync um, and I can use this to view all my accounts. I can send Dash to here if I want to, or I can send Dash from my wallet. I can receive Dash and all of that. But today what I want to do is add in a new cryptocurrency from this list. So what you can see is the compatible wallet for many of these directly is the Ledger wallet itself. So that is this Ledger wallet for Bitcoin and altcoins that had just opened. It's a different app for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. I will cover that in a separate video. Um, and there are also a number of these coins that you will see, such as NEO, that will interface with the Ledger wallet while using the uh, uh, a separate software wallet like the Neon wallet for NEO um, or Stellar Lumens will, will be a separate wallet. So what I want to cover is another altcoin, how to, how to install that, get it up and running on your um, Ledger wallet um, so that you could use it directly with your Ledger wallet device. Okay, so if we want to add Vertcoin, there's another app that we are going to need to install on Chrome, and that is the Ledger Manager. This is what allows you to install and remove apps on the Ledger device. So if you go over to here, um, again, it's going to tell you that this runs um, through Chrome. Um, it's all open source, and you can get the app, download the manager, 
app. Um, so I already have this installed as well. So I'm going to open this up in Chrome and then we can add, um, we'll add one of these other cryptocurrencies. I think I'm gonna add Vertcoin onto this today. So here we are on Chrome slash apps. I'm going to click on the ledger manager to launch that. And this will um, update the store quickly to show all the coins that are available. So here you can see that same list that you saw on the Ledger Wallet website. And if we want to download a new one of these, all we have to do is click on the download icon. So let's say we want to add Vertcoin today. We are going to install that application and it prompts you if asked, uh, confirm the installation on your device. So let's get back to a live image on um, my Ledger Nano. And you can see through here, um, I just clicked download and you can see I now have Vertcoin that was not here previously. So if I want to go into here and actually look at my Vertcoin, I can open the Ledger Wallet for Bitcoin. And once this is open, I can now that I have Vertcoin selected on my Ledger Nano, I'm going to click both buttons. That will open it up. And you will see that within the Ledger Wallet for Bitcoin app, I can select Vertcoin or the Vertcoin Segwit chain. And I open that up and now I have a Vertcoin wallet where I can send and receive and have all those settings. So it's quick quickly syncing and that's set up and ready to go. Uh, one point that is very important to make here is that the Ledger Wallet, the Ledger Nano S, only supports four apps being installed on the actual device at one time. So if you want to uh, be able to work with multiple currencies more than that, um, of course you could, you could buy a, another Ledger uh, Nano, uh, not necessarily the, the best option to have, but you can also easily delete an app, um, come back to one, uh, given that everything is already on the blockchain. So if you want to do that, the easiest way to get into it is to go back to the go back to the ledger manager and here if we um, we're going to collect connect our device so I'm going to get back out I'm going to quit out of the vertcoin app using both buttons to do that and now it's going to update my store again and so, so since we had the icon to download we can also delete so I, there's a little trash icon, so I'm going to click on that on Vertcoin. It's going to remove that application. And so now I have room again if I wanted to add, um, say, Litecoin instead. Now I have room to install the Litecoin application. It's going to ask me if I want to confirm. You see processing here on my Nano S. Um, Litecoin is now available. But if I go back and I try to add Vertcoin at this point, um, it's not going to let me um, because I already have four apps loaded onto my device. You see that Vertcoin is not part of this anymore. So, and you see here on the screen, unable to install application, insufficient remaining space. So, um, you have to carefully select which uh, four apps you want to be on here, or you can go back and forth easily through the... Um, this nano manager um, and just delete things. Uh, it's not going to delete your coins, uh, but you have to work with that carefully. Or if you don't want to have to worry about that, you could have multiple uh, Nano S devices. So um, let me know what your thoughts are on that. Uh, the best coins that you found to work with the Nano S, uh, what your favorite hardware wallet is. If you currently have a Ledger Nano S, if you are looking to purchase the Ledger Nano S, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Uh, in full transparency, this is an affiliate link. Um, it's no cost to you whatsoever, but it does help support the channel. So appreciate any of you who click on that. I hope this video is helpful for those of you who are getting started working with the Ledger Nano S. If you have subscribe to the channel, uh, please click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.